All right. Start off by saying all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, and peace and blessings to the elect, okay? Um, as you can see, uh, in world news, uh, world events, all the things that are taking place, especially uh, with this situation over there in Syria, okay? We having war, war words, you know, and then uh, the media is all talking about uh, the end of the Cold War, okay? So if it's the end of the Cold War, what's the opposite of cold, okay? Meaning it's going to be a, a, a hot war, okay? Right. A war with, with, with fire. It won't be words anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we're seeing the tensions building up greatly. Okay? Right. We just had uh, Russia go and secure its ties with uh, Turkey and Iran. Okay? they securing their ties with China. And on the other hand, you have uh, the United States. You know, they just had a... a, a, a a little meeting with the uh, Baltic states to, uh, you know, assure their alliance, you know. So everybody's choosing sides and, you know, everybody's strategically putting uh, troops in, in uh, certain areas mm -hmm. throughout the Middle East, you know. Yep. Everybody's gearing up for what is, be, what is known as the third woe, okay. Right. Or the, and, and, and as it's commonly known as the third world's war. So, uh, if you bring that out, oh, you right. got to see what I'm saying. Go ahead, real quick. Mm -hmm. And uh, these other nations, like uh, Russia, uh, China, Iran, like the brother was explaining, they're, off, they're, they're making their alignments, their geopolitical uh, alignments, so to speak. And they're, they're uh, isolating America, as as the, as the says the scriptures. Like all these different nations, they're 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 uh, they're getting ready. They coming together, in in in, in a mind to destroy America. And they, and America right now is being is being isolated, being pushed out there by itself. You know they got Israel. Uh, that they align with, or uh, in, in a what's the word? In alliance. Uh, alliance mm -hmm. with, and they have a uh, supposed to be the EU and NATO, but the scriptures tell you that even uh, the EU, or the you know the, the yeah the European Union, is gonna turn on is gonna turn on America. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's that's one thing to add to what the brother was saying, and you also have these trade wars. Mm -hmm. That's going on mainly right now. Well, well, mainly with America and China, but it hadn't rolled out just yet. You know, it's supposed to be rolling out in the next uh, couple of months or mm -hmm. so. If you if you check into it, and when, so that could be basically the beginning of the summer or or the entering into the summer. So to, basically, yeah, you know, and trade wars lead to wars. As brothers they made videos on. And uh, the apostles and spoke on. I'm not, I know in particular the apostle Tahor. So the spirit of war is is is, is festering. Yep. You know. Hey, when the number one uh, economy boosters is war. War is known to boost a, a a nation's economy. Okay. And if everybody's okay with the like the brothers talking about the tariffs. You know, these sanctions that the uh, U.S. is imposing on these uh, imports, you know, well, they doing it right back to them. You've been having stock market uh, woes and worries. The stock market has been up and down, what they call uncertainties, you know, from different uh, companies that are on the, uh, the stock exchange. They, they have worries, so uh, investors aren't investing. You know, nobody wanting to take chances right now because everything is uncertain, you know. But 
we know for certain what's gonna happen. Okay? This place is gonna be annihilated. Thus say hit your how about Right. You know? Yeah, right. so right, right, you ready? Alright, this is Revelation chapter eleven, verse fourteen. It read or it reads, The second woe is past, and behold the third woe cometh quickly. Right. The second woe has passed, man. The first woe is past. The second woe is past, which was the first world's war. Then the second world's war. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it says the third cometh quickly. Okay? The third world's war is, is knocking on the door, man. Okay? And the scriptures say it cometh quickly. It haven't been that long since World War II. Okay? But the point of this lesson is that right here in verse 14, it says the third woe, okay? Mm -hmm. The scriptures nowhere speak of a fourth woe, man. Mm -hmm. There's three woes and this a wrap. Because if you keep reading, matter of fact, I'm going to read 50. 50 that. That's, that's, <laughs> that's it. All right. This Revelation 11 and 15, it reads, and the seventh angel sounded, and that's what destruction. That represent the destruction that's mm -hmm. to come, the thermonuclear uh, destruction. And and there were and there were great voices in heaven saying, "The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord, and of and of His uh, Masayat." And he shall reign forever and ever. You see, that ain't happened yet. So when this takes place, just letting you know that the Lord is going to be in rulership over these kingdoms of the earth, man. Forever and ever. That right. ain't happened. But just to make the point, it say the third woe coming, and then that's it, man. Yeah. It don't speak of no for, for the woe. It tell, it's telling it's you, telling you that's what's going to happen yeah. next. After the third world's war, <laughs> that's, that's the sounding of the of the uh, of the, the seventh uh, angel. angel, okay. And then it says after that, then all the kingdoms of this world are going to become the kingdom of our Lord, who is Yahweh. That's right. It says, and of and of His anointing. Yep. Or my Ma Mashiach. Yep. Okay. And and He shall reign forever and ever. So that's that. Plain and simple, man. So this is going back, and we're gonna get another precept in the book of Joel, uh second chapter uh, third chapter, I'm sorry. Uh, going into what the scripture is talking about, man. The third world's war. Okay? Right. The the last war, man. The the last world's war. Okay. Right, the war to end our war. That's it. You know? That's it, man. And you got a lot of people, especially uh I'ma say this. Simple as you simple as so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America, and simple as so called white people, the, the Edomites, that believe uh in Trump's bullshit. Right. You know? Or I ain't gonna even say Trump's bullshit. I'm gonna just say uh that believe that this place is gonna continue. Right. And believe that the world being destroyed by fire, that ain't gonna be in our lifetime. They don't even know what the fire is, you know? Right. And it's right before their eyes. If you're paying attention and you have a, a eighth of a brain <laughs> in your head, come on. You can see that we on the brink of the, the third world's war. Yeah. Like it's, it's here. And that it's going to be a nuclear war. You know, but like I said, you got the majority of our people here in America. And you, the simple as so-called white people here in, in America that believe somehow, some way, this place is going to continue. And you're going to see your grandkids grow up. And y'all in, in the fantasy world, man. Right. We at the time... Where well, our kingdom is coming, man. Starting with uh, Yahweh, his kingdom, and we and the Israelites are going to be heirs 
starting with the elect heirs of the of his kingdom forever and ever you know this because i'm you you would talk to a person in the world and they'll say you know uh i'm talking about over the years they'll say yeah well dad that, that, that that's gonna be in that of when that happened that'll be in our grandchildren's time or that ain't gonna be in our time or right now and this time and, and using them different phrases because they don't believe they don't believe that something is catastrophic is gonna happen man. right and you this know? the last generation man we gonna see it okay this is the generation that's gonna see the return of our lord and savior yahweh shah man period point blank okay all right, which one? Uh, just go straight to oh, three and right. nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Joel chapter three, verse nine, and it read, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up." That's right, man. And that's you know we doing that. We proclaiming this among the Gentiles, man. Okay. All of the nations, all right. That that this is the end. That this is uh Armageddon. Okay. Right. The war to end all wars. All right. And as right. the brother put it earlier, a war with fire, man. A nuclear, a thermonuclear war, man. Everybody's talking about the nukes. The nukes. You think they made all these these different weapons, these different nuclear warheads, just to not? They made them to be used, man. And this a, a, a nuclear war is, is not like any other war, man. Even if you nuke somewhere and you don't totally destroy it all up all the way, you can't inhabit that land, man, because there's radiation there. This is something that has never been seen before, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to say yeah, I was gonna say in this verse, uh, verse nine, proclaim ye this among Gentiles. You know, it's talking about the, the Most High, peace, putting it in their mind to what prepare war. The words that's written is being proclaimed through the Spirit. Uh, uh, war. The Most High is working on the minds of these other nations. To gear for war and we seeing it happen it's manifesting right before our before our eyes you know wake up the mighty men who's gonna wake up the mighty men the most high and who are the mighty men is telling you it's the gentiles these other nations their their armies that's the mighty men their 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 military their military power and, and might the most high is gonna wake them is is waking them up they're woke that it's time for war you know and that, that was that was all I Come. had on there, bro. Chi, keep going. Okay, bro. uh, this is if I read verse nine again, it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong. That's right, man. And a plowshare is a, a, a agricultural instrument, mm -hmm. okay? And a sword is a weapon of war, man. That's it. So beat your your agriculture agricultural instruments into instruments of war. In other words, take your the resources that you're using for your agriculture, okay, and put it into your uh your soldiers to your military yeah, that's man it. you know it's time for war right that's what man there's a time and a season for everything under the heavens man and right now we in the time of war man spiritual warfare and an actual third world's war that's gonna right. end it all man okay and i say something Come. these all these different because in it uh Salakia, in the end of this verse, it says, "Let the weak say I am strong," That's because right. all these so-called what Esau called third-world countries, mm -hmm. um, they were agricultural 
country, so to speak. Right. They were farmers, basically. They right. were they their economy was based upon the agriculture, you know. So instead of putting your energy and your money towards this, we not we we putting down the so to, we putting down the uh, the farming tools so or the. Uh, yeah. The, what did you say earlier? Oh, uh, the, instruments of agricultural yeah, instruments. Yeah, yeah, putting that down and, 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 and basically getting prepared for, for war. That's right. You know? And say, I am strong. And how yeah. they, and, and uh, Russia is being a guard unto them, yeah. as you read in Ezekiel yeah. 38. Because uh, uh, they, they possess every, all these third world countries, they got nuclear capability. Okay, to shoot nuclear missiles over here to America, and it, it will be done. Yep. Okay, that's why that's what makes them not weak anymore. Is that not only that they gearing up their military, but they gearing up their military and and building up their 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 nuclear arms, so to speak. Yep. Okay. And and we we waiting on it, man. We waiting on we we waiting to, we patiently waiting, you know, for this chip to come. Yep. And and basically being forced on a on a large scale because it's here. We just waiting for it to, for the for Esau to push it on the masses. Right. And then when that happened, we World War Three is right right there. Right. You know, so as this this war is telling us. This third world's war is telling us that this chip is finna happen. It's finna get to popping as far as being made man mandatory. That you gotta take this chip if you wanna live in this in this society. Yep. If you want your life to continue as normal. All this stuff is finna happen so fast, it's gonna make your head swim, man. That's why the scriptures say, except those days be shortened. You can't tell that the days are shortened. You, you, man, you living under a rock. Because this time is flying, man. We almost halfway through the, through 2018. And it seemed like it's still, like, it was just 2015. You know? But, uh... Yeah, yeah, we, I'll read on. Yeah, keep going, come on. All right, this is Joel 3 and 10. It's, I'm sorry, 3 and 11. Mm -hmm. It says, assemble yourselves and come. So who's making all this happen? You read in uh, uh, Isaiah 13, it tell you the, the, the Lord of hosts mustered, mustered the host to mm -hmm. the, of the battle. You know? So i uh, read that again. It says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. You know, nobody else is making this happen on the, on the earth. Like like the brother said, we are proclaiming war. We tell we uh, <clears throat> we're basically telling the world that third world's war is coming, and we pushing it heavy and hard, man. The prophets. You even read about it in uh, uh Isaiah thirty four. Come near you nations and hear. Mm hmm. You know. <laughs> And uh, going back to this verse, it says, And gather yourself together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. It says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. That's it. Okay. So why they... In their mind, they going to war, they battling, they jockeying, they jockeying <laughs> yeah. for position. Right. <laughs> you know, they battling for power and, and uh, yeah, power to be the superpower in the earth. Right. They all going to get their judgment from the Most High. The, uh, that's what uh, Jehoshaphat, Yahweh's Shapat, Yahweh's uh, decision. That's right. Or judgment. Okay. And how is he going to judge them? He's going to judge them by the, all them armies. They gon' they gon' the, the military might from these other nations, are, are they gonna be destroyed? Yep. And the ones that don't that don't die in that in that war, or the ones that don't partake in the war of you heathens, you going into slavery. Okay, that's also part of the judgment. That's right. Is that 
starting with the elite banking families of Esau, the Edomites, they're going into slavery and all the ruling, the, the ruling body of the different nations, they're going into slavery and any and everybody else outside of uh, Israel, they're going into slavery. And any Israelites left that don't want to get they that don't want to get with the order, you gonna get put to death. Right. You know. Uh. I guess I can keep reading. But you at, at thirteen. Uh, we can oh, stop at twelve. Okay, come on. Okay, okay, come on. And because that's basically the uh. The the lesson. Come you know, okay. Just we, it's the third world's war, ain't no fourth world's war, right? And we at the third one, man. So right. that that we at the third war. So that's this is it's a wrap for this place, man. We welcome the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, you had anything you want to lie, lie. So with that, you know, Lord willing, you how about Shimmy Awasha, by Shimmer, by Shimmer Kako Dash Pratiza, there was edification. You know, in this lesson, you know, when again we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Okay, and until the next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.